Hello, I'm Kelly Rush, the video production specialist at TechSmith. I was reading through Get Satisfaction last week, which is our online community for discussing screencasting and TechSmith related products, and I came across a feature request asking if we could make a Camtasia Studio-like product for the iPad or tablets. I'm not really sure where we're at on that right now, um, but I did have an idea for how to capture the screen using the HDMI output on those devices. So I did a little bit of testing, uh, gave it a couple tries, and I actually came up with some good results for that. And I had some people asking if I could go over the process that I used and hopefully help them repeat it. So I said that I would make a video. Here we are. So I'm going to spend a few minutes showing you exactly what I did and hopefully get it to a point where you can repeat the process. Here we go. Okay, so let's go over what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a computer. Makes sense with uh, open PCI Express port. I have one here, it's on the ground down there, and you'll see it in a second. Um, the next thing you'll need, obviously, your tablet. We're going to use the iPad 2. Um, I've tested it with Android devices and the iPad 2, they all work. The iPad 1 does not work. Uh, some people said that you can jailbreak it and find a way to do it. I don't even think that'll work this way. So if you're going to go the Apple route, you're going to need an uh, iPad 2. Uh, you're also going to need a standard HDMI cable. Um, there's three types. There's a full HDMI, a mini HDMI, and a micro HDMI. The part going into the computer is full HDMI, and then whatever's going into your device um, is going to depend on what device you have. And for this example, we're doing the iPad 2, like I said, and we have the adapter that converts the HDMI signal on the cable to something that plugs into the iPad. And then finally, we have the capture card by Aver Media. And this is what you plug the end of the HDMI cable into, and this goes into the computer and lets you capture what's happening on your tablet. Okay, so let's put the capture card into the computer. Okay, step two, we're going to put the HDMI capture card into the computer. This is probably the trickiest step of the entire process, especially if you haven't put a computer together before but it's honestly not that challenging. You can do it. Um, so you're going to have to find out how to open your computer. This is different for every single computer that you use. There's usually a tab or something. Sometimes they use screws on the side, but this one has a tab. So we're going to click that open, slide it out, and there's the scary inside of your computer. So we're looking for the PCI Express port. Um, you have to look down here, they're usually in these little slots down at the bottom. I'll tilt the computer up a bit so you can see. Um, the white ones generally are PCI, those are the older style uh, ports. And then there's the PCI Express, which oftentimes is black. Okay, so we're going to take our capture card and pop it open. You'll have to bear with me for a second, it is taped shut. Well, that's not going back to the store, that's for sure. There's mangled box. Okay. Throw that on the ground. There's the box. And I told you this was the hardest step. Okay. There's the capture card. Comes with uh, some software. You're going to want to hang on to that. The manual tells you kind of what we're doing right now. And this uh, little extra thing for capturing different types of um, video inputs. We're not going to need that. So you toss that to the side. Go ahead and open up the card. And pull it out. Um, there's a little plastic cover on this one. You can pull that out. And there's the capture card, and you can see the two ports there. Those are the HDMI ports. One is uh, HDMI out, in case you want to monitor something. The other one is HDMI in, which is what we're concerned about. So now, we just need to find that open port again. It's going to be right there. 
It's next to the video card in this particular computer. And we'll pop that in. You have to also uh, watch these tabs here over on the side. They, uh, they're there to block the openings on the computer with these little silver tab things. If you know how to put a computer together, sorry, this is really old information for you. Um, but you never know who's going to be watching the video. And of course we pulled the wrong tab out. That should work a little bit better. Alright, pop that in place. Lock everything down. Alright, and now you can see the card that we just installed. That's the HDMI capture card. And flip the computer around here. Now you can see the back of that card right there. Okay, and finishing up. You just pop the case back in place, and you're all done. That's step two. On to step three. Okay, if step two was the hard step, step three is the easier step. Um, this is just we're going to connect the HDMI cable to the back of the computer. And I won't leave this up here the whole time, uh, but I did want you to get a good idea of where we're plugging this in. And without having tried this, because I just got all the parts, I think you have to plug it into the port named HDMI on the back. I'll check that when we actually get to capturing and make sure that was right. But for now, you're going to take the HDMI cable right here, and you're going to plug it into the port labeled HDMI. Just like that. Easy enough. So we are... All done hooking stuff up on the hardware end of the computer. We're going to go ahead and boot the computer up now and check and make sure that the car is installed properly. Okay, on to the next part. I think this is part three or something. Anyway, that sounds right. Um, I'm going to be doing this in as close to real time as possible just so you get an idea for the actual length of time it takes to do this. Um, so we're going to be doing all the installing of the software and hooking everything up. Um, and I am recording the screen right now. I'm using Camtasia Recorder to record the screen um, for the reason that when we get to the part where we actually record the tablet screen, we're going to be using Jing. And I didn't want to mix Camtasia Recorder trying to record two things at the same time. Um, and also if the performance is a little bit slow, like the screen video is a little bit slow, it's probably because it's recording two different things at the same time. Anyway, so, well, screen video and camera video, and I'll try to mix them up. So the first thing that we're going to do is get the HDMI card installed that we did in the last step. Um, if you want to check and see if it's on your computer, you can go to the control panel, and go to hardware and sound, go to the device manager, and it should show up in the other devices section as a multimedia video controller and there should be a yellow exclamation point next to it which means it's not installed correctly right now, it's missing software which obviously we haven't installed yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we'll pop that into the, into the uh, CD-ROM drive if anyone remembers what a CD-ROM drive is. Uh, you can also download the software from their website, I believe. Um, so if you've lost it, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so the auto run comes up. That should be fine. We'll click on that. And let's install Avro Media Center. I think that's what we're looking to do. And Avro Media Center is the actual application that runs that shows you um, what you're capturing through the HDMI. I think it also installs the drivers. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm doing this on the fly as we go, so you'll be learning with me as I relearn. Okay, and we're waiting for it to load up. It's going off the CD-ROM, so it's taking a little bit of time. It's usually faster when you uh, do it from the file. Anyway, go through the steps. Next, I accept all of those agreements that I just read. Let's complete the installation. So 
setup wizard is finished. Would, would you like to view the readme file with me? No, I don't think so. Let's just finish. And let's exit. Get out of here, installer. We're done. Okay, so here's the control panel again. And here, I'll close it. Just in case you're not sure how to get there, start, control panel, hardware and sound, device manager. Right there. As you can see, it's gone. There's no more exclamation mark there. It's probably under sound video game controllers. Yep, there's the Avermedia capture device. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and close those. And let's go find some software. So it's in Start, Avermedia, Avermedia Center, and then Avermedia Center. Hopefully this loads up. Get a nice animation there. Do you want to activate the setup wizard now? Let's say no. Let's just assume that's all set. Okay, so we click on the TV file there. It's another thing I should say. There's a nice menu system up on the top. If you want to use it for anything, that's fine. We don't need to use it right now, though, so we're going to click on the TV. And then in this drop-down right here, we're going to go down and choose HDMI. Okay, and you'll see the play thing is loading there. It's looking for a signal. There is no signal right now because we do not have our iPad hooked up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we need to take the adapter that I told you about before. It's an HDMI adapter from Apple. Plug it into the part that says HDMI down on the bottom there. Okay. And then we will plug the iPad adapter in. And we'll turn the iPad on and see if it shows up. There we go. So hopefully now if you're watching you can see it. Oh, just timed out. Let me turn it back on. We'll slide it to unlock it. And there's the screen. Now if you want to bring it up a little bit bigger, which I'm assuming you probably do want to do, just click on the screen, or double click on the screen. There we go. And so now you can see, moving around the screen, um, you can bring up all the applications that you want. So there's where TechSmith lives in the uh, beautiful state of Michigan. You go home. And all that. Okay, so you can see that it's at least showing up on the screen. So that's good. And yeah, you can do all the rotation and all that sort of stuff. And I think if you turn it the other way, it doesn't actually rotate it. Yeah, it always keeps it in the right orientation. Okay, so we're going to set that down for a second. So if you want to record the screen, you should hopefully have used Jing or Camtasia Studio before. Um, we're going to use Jing for this one, again, because we're using Camtasia Recorder to record the screen right now. Um, another thing I should point out is that Avermedia comes with recording capability. Um, it's this little red button down here. If it's the same as it was when I was doing my tests, it will tell us it can't because it's protected. Yep, the program is protected and its content can't be recorded. So that means that the HDCP flag is um, ticked and it says that it's a protected stream. They do that to um, protect against copying Blu-rays and things like that. So no matter, we can use um, Jing or Camtasia Studio to record it. So we'll get Jing going here. Hit the capture button. And then you're going to want to just draw around the region of the screen where you're capturing. So that looks pretty good. We'll let go. And you can either do an image, but you can already do still image captures on the iPad, so that's not a big deal. We're here for video. So we're going to do capture video. Uh, which microphone do you want to use? Um, hopefully this won't crash it, because I'm already recording system audio. Let's see what happens. Okay. So there's the screen. You can see it recording. Let's, um, let's try... Safari. See what we have. And gadget. Alright. That's an exciting website. Okay, so you can see all that. Let's actually go to 
TextMiss home page. You can hear that ticking. That's me actually hitting back on the iPad right now, which means the audio is coming through the HDMI cable and it should be capturing right now. Assuming the audio is working in Jing because we're using Camtasia and stuff like that. But so you can see the web page, go through. Let's go to the, to the Jing's home page. Jing. Go back home. And uh, let's do uh, let's do Angry Birds real quick, just to show that you can do video. I love this game. Okay, so that works. Let's go ahead and go home, and now let's check out and see if this is recorded. So we're going to stop. And let's hit a preview. And there's our video. And again, it's a little bit choppy because we're doing multiple recordings here on the screen. But usually you get a pretty good frame rate, um, either with Jing or Camtasia Studio. Uh, one of the, the big arguments for using Camtasia Studio over Jing um, is that you can edit the file easily afterwards. With Jing, if you just want to do a quick capture and upload it, that's fine. If you were going to take the video that you're making and you wanted to edit it or something, if you wanted to do like what we're doing right now with the camera and cut in bits between the camera and the, the iPad, um, then you may want to use Camtasia Studio because it'll save an a editable video uh, format file for you so you can go in and do whatever you want with it. But anyway, so there's our, our recording. We're going to go ahead and stop it. We'll go ahead and share it. It's uploading. Alright, let's just check to make sure. And there's our captured video file. All right, so that is it. Hopefully it was helpful for you. As I said before, it's not too hard. Um, putting the card in, if you don't have experience with that, it's probably the trickiest part. But after that, it's a pretty straightforward process of just plugging in the tablet and recording uh, what happens on Aver Media. And again, I've tried this on an iPad 2. Obviously, it works great. Um, I've tried on an Asus Transformer. That worked fine. Uh, I have a couple other tablets I can try out if anyone's interested. iPad 1 I did try, does not work, so don't even bother with that. But anyway, hopefully that's helpful. If you have questions, comments, things that you'd want me to try, go ahead and uh, just leave them in the comments right below this video uh, on the Visual Lounge, and I'll do my best to try them out and get some answers back for you. All right, thanks a lot for watching. See you later.